When I was a young boy, the KKK announced a night rally in my home county. A cross burning with hundreds of Klansmen to terrorize the blacks and Lumbee. It's the viral campaign at turning heads across the country. North Carolina representative and congressional candidate Charles Graham of Robinson County was just seven years old. 50 Klansmen. Not a bad turnout on a cold night. Problem is, they were surrounded by 400 Lumbees. This moment would go down in history as the Battle of Hayes Pond in January of 1958. Hundreds of normal folks deciding to stand together against ignorance and hate. Lowry shot out the light. The Klansmen scattered. Today I called up with Graham in downtown Raleigh, asking him why he decided to use this campaign ad as a launch pad to Congress. Our democracy, as, as recent as this year, is under attack. And we have people who came to our nation's capital with the same intent that the folks had back in 1958. And the one difference is they were not wearing sheets. He served 11 years as a state representative, voting in support of House Bill 2, the notorious bathroom bill that sparked national outrage requiring individuals to use bathrooms according to their biological sex. I'm sorry and I apologize because I understand as a result of my vote, vote it was hurtful. The 9th Congressional District has been held by Republicans since the 1960s. Robinson County officials tell me Lumbee Native Americans make up 40% of the population, followed by 25% whites, 24% blacks, and 9% Hispanics, with a median household of $35,000 and a population of 130,000 residents. The retired educator, using his platform, hoping to flip District 9 in 2022. My campaign is running on, on uniting our country, not dividing. I'm racing culture reporter Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.